Dear students, now we are going to discuss the basics of angle modulation in detail. Angle of the signal can be defined by using the time parameters of the signal. Here the time parameters are frequency and phase. In angle modulation, either frequency or phase of the carrier signal is varied in accordance with the message signal. So here we can define the angle modulation as the process in which either frequency or phase of the carrier signal is varied in accordance with the instantaneous amplitude values of the modulating signal. In angle modulation, the amplitude of the carrier signal remains constant. Angle modulation can be broadly classified into two types. One is frequency modulation. The next one is phase modulation. Frequency modulation is simply represented as FM. Phase modulation is represented as PM. In frequency modulation, the frequency of the carrier signal is directly varied with respect to the modulating signal. In phase modulation, phase of the carrier signal is varied with respect to the modulating signal. Here, the instantaneous frequency can be given like this. That is the differentiation of its phase value. The phase of the instantaneous phase of the PM signal is given like this that is equal to KP into M of T. Here M of T is nothing but the modulating signal and KP is nothing but the phase deviation. Signal representation of FM and PM waveforms. So here this is the modulating signal M of T where AM is the maximum amplitude of the message signal. And here it is the free carrier signal C of T. Its maximum amplitude is AC. And then we are going to obtain frequency modulated wave like this. So here during the positive half cycle of the modulating signal, the carrier frequency is increased. That means if the amplitude is increased, then the frequency is also getting increased. Here, when the amplitude is getting reduced, that is, the amplitude of the modulating signal is decreased means the respective modulated wave frequency is also getting decreased. So, you can see the difference. Okay, so during this part, what will happen? the frequency of the modulated wave. Here it is increased one. Okay, during the negative half cycle. Here the amplitude is getting reduced. So at that time, the frequency of the FM signal or the frequency of the carrier signal is decreased. Okay, so here the PM wave. PM wave means the phase modulated wave. So here, whenever the modulating signal, you can see if the modulating signal looking like this okay so here whenever the amplitude is increased and attains the peak value okay this is the positive peak then there is a change in the phase so whenever it reaches the negative peak at that time there is a change in phase so this is what phase modulated wave so phase modulation occurs at the peak of the amplitude of modulating signal. So this is the PM wave for sinusoidal signal. If the modulating signal is a sinusoidal signal, then its FM wave looks like this and phase modulated wave looks like this. If the modulating signal is a pulse signal, then the phase modulated signal looks like this here during the positive half cycle of the modulating signal the phase of the modulated signal is same so whenever there is a change in modulating signal amplitude here if it is 1 it is minus 1 there is a sudden change in this so whenever there is a 
change in amplitude then there is a phase change occurs occurred in our phase modulated signal so the same thing so whenever it goes from low to high okay so whenever it is switching over from one amplitude to the another amplitude then there will be a phase change okay this is for pulse signal as modulating signal the frequency modulated signal can be given like this yes fm of t is equal to ac cos omega ct plus mf sin omega mt here this mf represents the modulation index for frequency modulation here this mf is equal to modulation index is equal to kf am divided by omega m here kf is nothing but frequency sensitivity this frequency sensitivity is the important factor to define the modulation process in frequencies here the modulation index of the frequency modulation depends on both amplitude and frequency of the modulating signal here del omega is nothing but frequency deviation this frequency deviation is equal to kf into am where this kf is nothing but frequency sensitivity okay so here this del omega depends on only the amplitude so next in phase modulation the phase modulated signal can be represented like this spm of t is equal to ac cos omega ct plus mp cos omega mt here this mp is nothing but modulation index of phase modulation that is equal to kp into am where kp is the phase sensitivity and here the modulation index depends only on the amplitude not on the frequency but in frequency modulation the modulation index depends on both amplitude and frequency but in case of phase modulation the modulation index depends only on the amplitude of the modulating signal and here the phase deviation is equal to kp into am omega m here the phase deviation of the modulated signal depends on both amplitude and frequency but in frequency modulation here the frequency deviation depends only on the amplitude but here it depends on amplitude and frequency frequency modulated signal can be obtained using phase modulator in order to obtain frequency modulated signal the modulating signal that is the message signal is integrated and then given as the input to phase modulator finally we can obtain frequency modulated wave similarly the phase modulated signal can be obtained using frequency modulator so in this scenario the modulating signal is differentiated and then given as a input to the frequency modulator finally we can obtain phase modulated signal next we are going to obtain frequency spectrum of angle modulated waves as we know that the bandwidth of angle modulation is very high so due to wide bandwidth the angle modulated signal has infinite number of side bands and carrier in the output signal the side bands are separated from the carrier by fm 2 times fm 3 times the modulating frequency etc so it is going on it is separated like this the frequency separation between successive side bands is fm because the difference between these two is fm the difference between these two is fm only okay so the frequency separation between successive side bands is fm 
the angle modulated signal is periodic one hence it can be represented by using fourier series expansion because in this we are going to obtain frequency spectrum for frequency spectrum we have to use fourier transform so far correct so we have used a frequency a fourier transform so far but in this periodic signal we are going to use fourier series expansion so fourier series of the frequency modulated signal is equal to ac summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity j n of m cos 2 pi of fc plus n fm of t so here this j n of m is nothing but bessel's function which is widely used in angle modulation technique so here for this expansion if you are going to take the transform then we can obtain yes fm of f it is purely in frequency domain because the fourier series is used to represent the signal in terms of time itself correct so here we need to obtain the spectrum in frequency domain so we have to take the fourier transform again for this signal we can get yes f m of f is equal to ac by 2 summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity j n of m here this term becomes del of f minus fc minus n fm plus del of f plus fc plus n fm so this n is nothing but its range its range starts from minus infinity to plus infinity that's why we in we told okay so that's why uh, here we mentioned it is having infinite side bands so 1 2 3 4 it is going on like that okay so we are having infinite side bands so here jn of m is nothing but bessel's function the value of bessel function depends on the modulation index so all the side bands are symmetric around the carrier frequency here all the side bands whatever side bands are generated it is symmetric about the carrier frequency here and one more thing side bands are nothing but impulse signal here del represents what impulse signal so all the side bands are impulse signal which which are symmetric around the carrier frequency so this is the spectrum representation of angle modulated wave here we consider frequency modulation so frequency modulation is similar to that of phase modulation okay so here at center frequency we are having the maximum amplitude value of the side band okay so with respect to this center frequency we are having many side bands like this so fc plus fm we are having first side band okay so likewise we are having opposite side fc minus fm so it is going on like this n times so here the side bands are separated from the carrier signal in a symmetric manner okay so and also the frequency separation between successive side bands is nothing but simply fm which have been already discussed right so this is the spectrum representation of angle modulated wave so here the bandwidth is nearly infinite that's why we are telling the angle modulation is a type of wide band modulation we are going to discuss here about average power of angle modulated wave in angle modulation the average power is a constant since there is no amplitude variation here the average power is equal to the carrier power here average power is equal to what the carrier power the carrier power is nothing but ac squared by 2 into r where this ac is the amplitude of the carrier signal and r is the load resistance or antenna resistance advantages of angle modulation techniques efficient use of transmitted power 
since there is no amplitude variation the average power of the signal is equal to the carrier power so we can utilize the transmitted power to the maximum system fidelity is improved when compared to the amplitude modulation so the next major advantage is noise reduction so in general most of the noises will occur due to unwanted amplitude variations in the modulated way but in case of angle modulation there is no amplitude variation so we can attain the maximum efficiency so here noise is getting reduced and the angle modulation has wider bandwidth hence we can achieve high system performance so these all are the advantages of angle modulation applications of angle modulation radio broadcasting fm radio mobile communication tv audio transmission these all are the various applications of angle modulation technique